So I just wanted to make a quick video on how to install Python and how to um, work with the source code. I've had a few emails where people ask me questions on how they use the source code, so I just thought I'd make a quick video. So if you come here to the website under Downloads and Manuals, you can download uh, the source code here. So I've downloaded that and I have it on my desktop. Um, the next thing I would need to do is install Python on my computer. So you would come here to the Python page and then download and install Python. So it would go through the uh, install process. I already have it installed, so I don't need to, to go through any of this. But uh, you would just go through the uh, click Next and install uh, Python uh, 3.7 on your computer. The next thing um, you need to do is install the Pi Serial module, Inputs module, and NumPy module. So to install modules in Python, you need to do that through the command window. Um, so we will open up our command prompt. And the first thing I want to do is come to the top, right click, and um, go to Properties. And I want to click the box, check the box for Use Control Shift V Copy Paste. So I'll check that and hit OK. And then the next thing I need to do is change directory. I need to change the directory to my Python directory. So if I come down here in my window and type in Python, I will right click that, open file location, and that will bring me to a shortcut. And I will right click that and open file location on that. And that brings me to where Python is, resides on my computer. So I can click in this window and copy the address. And then I will come in here at the command window and type in cd for change directory space and enter in that directory. So now you can see the directory has changed to the Python directory. And we are going to use the Python um, installer, the uh, Python package installer uh, known as PIP. So if you come to most of these package, um, uh, the websites for the various packages, in this case PySerial, you can see that it will give you a piece of code um, that you can use to install. So I will copy that, and that's just python-m pip install PySerial. So we'll go back to our command window, and I will paste that in. And hit enter and it will tell me that um, it's already installed um, if you didn't have it installed there would be a little window that would um, download it and install it right here um, so we have uh, pi serial installed the next thing we want is is pi input so i'm just going to paste in the same piece of code but change it from pi serial to inputs and this is what uh, supports the Xbox controller and so I hit enter on that and same thing it's already installed um, but if it wasn't it would download and install it and then I'm going to paste in the same piece of code and instead of by serial again we're going to do numpy and hit enter on that and same thing again it's going to say that um, it is already installed so with that, we have all of the modules installed. We have Python installed, so we can close that. And we go to our desktop, and up here I have the source code. And so if I open up that folder, I've got the ARCSPY file. So now I can just click on that and launch the software directly from the, um, uh, from the Python file. Um, instead of using the executable. So with Python and the modules installed, you can see we can now open the, um, the software, the ARCS software program directly from Python. So at this point, um, you know, you could now um, edit the, uh, the source code um, if you wanted to. So um, if you use PyCharm or whatever your Python editor is, you would edit this um, arc5.py file. This is just uh, the program uh, is just one big flat file. Um, so you could, you, or you could just edit with Notepad. So we could open it up, and and you know, there's you can see all of the code, and um, you know, change whatever you want to change. See how it works. Um, down here towards the bottom, we have all the widgets. So, you know, you could change um, their X and Y locations on the screen if you want to move widgets around or create new widgets. Those are all at the bottom. Um, there's also, you could, for example, just a quick example. Obviously, I can't go through a full Python programming tutorial here, but I can show you a couple things. Um, here um, we have a hidden tab, tab 10. This was just for testing. I could uncomment that row and hit save on that 
And now when we open the software, we're going to have an extra tab for testing. And this was just something I did to test sending uh, strings, testing communication. So I could, you know, put in a, a value here and send to the Arduino and the Arduino will echo it back to me. So I was just testing communications on this. Um, so there's, there's that, um, you know, and there's a, a number of other things you can do. Um, you know, if, if uh, you go to the bottom here, I've got this uh, code commented out. Um, I could, uh, copy that piece of code there and then if I wanted to for example see what the Arduino is sending me back I could uh, copy that in so if I go up to let's go here to uh, let's say the joint one for jogging in the positive direction um, we send a serial command um, out to the uh, Arduino and then we uh, we read it back in as a this value uh, robot code. So if I wanted to see what that robot code was, I could come in here. I could paste in the manual entry field code, uncomment it. And copy that. And put that right here. So now the manual entry field, it's going to insert robot code anytime I jog. Um, joint one in the positive direction, so I'll save that. If I open up the software and jog joint one in the positive direction, you can see down here in the manual entry field that it's going to give me the code that the coded message that's being sent back from the Arduino. So um, that's one thing you can do is uh, is in the uh, source code just drop in this this little manual entry field to, to see what the uh, controller is sending back. So if you want to explore the code and see what it's doing, see how it works, you know, you can do that. Um, so anyway, I don't know how useful this video will be to everybody, but a few people have asked about, uh, you know, how to install and use the source code. So just thought I would make this video. So thanks for watching.